Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the A problem from the code forces round A22. Let's start. The problem name is select three strikes. Sticks, sorry. Uh, so you are given n sticks of positive integer length a1 till a n. You can perform the following operation a number of times on these sticks. Choose one stick, then either increase or decrease its length by one. Now, after each operation, all the sticks should be having some positive length only. Like you cannot like decrease or make a negative length stick. Now, uh, what is the minimum number operation that you can like you can do so that after the operation there is three sticks of equal length present in among all the sticks that you have so in simple words that you have to perform these sticks such that among all of these n sticks you can form you can choose three sticks that can form an equilateral triangle that are equal so which actually means that you have to somehow do some operations such that among all of those n sticks you have to make three sticks of equal length okay now the very simple thing which comes to my mind is okay that if i want to make three sticks equal I can first sort out all the whole whole array and take every three consecutive sticks because those are close to each other. I should not be increasing or decreasing a length for so let's say I have a stick of length hundred and a stick of length two. Should not be bringing out or decreasing a length of hundred to two or making making two or two hundred. Maybe there's a closer stick to two which I can like decrease or increase which can easily become two much more easier and much more faster than hundred. So I should be like choosing out close sticks. So what I can directly do is that I can just sort out the whole array. And choose every three consecutive sticks. And because let's say we have three consecutive sticks, what will happen is that let's say one stick is two, one stick is three, one stick is four, one stick is four. So the better thing is to bring this stick to this and this thing to this. This will be let's say increased and this will be decreased. Or maybe if they are equal, let's say in this, if I choose these three sticks, this is already equal. So I will just increase this by one and it will it will become equal because both increasing and decreasing are allowed. So you can just choose every three consecutive sticks. And just try to bring the first and the last in the three consecutive sticks to the middle one. And in that scenario, like all of them will become equal. And you have to just minimize the number of operations you have to do among all the three consecutive sticks after sorting it out. And that's the overall solution for this particular problem. Nothing much complicated. You can directly get it by just. Uh, I always highly recommend to just draw out some of the examples from the problem statement. It will become more clear to you. So what we have done is that we have first sorted out the whole array, take the input. Then we have to minimize it. So I have initialized it with a very large number. Then for every three consecutive sticks, we have to do it right over the whole array of O of n. Then take the two consecutive sticks, a1, like a of i, a of i plus 1, a of i plus 2, three consecutive sticks. And now I have to bring, let's say, what is the number of operation I will do? I will make the stick that is, let's say, on the right hand side. So I have 1, 2, 3. So third stick, I have to bring it to second. So how much operation I have to do? I have to z minus y operation because I have to make the z string bigger string to smaller string. So how much I have to subtract from the z the smaller? So z minus y I have to subtract. And similarly, if I bring from x to y, I have to subtract or I have to add something in x. How much I have to add? Y minus x. I have to add in x so that it will become equal to y. That's the number of operation I have to do to bring both of them to y, and uh, they will form a equilateral triangle. And you just have to minimize it over all the consecutive three uh, sticks. And that's the overall answer. Just print it out. That's overall logic. So that's an O of n operation, and this is sorting is O of n log n. So overall, overall is it O of n log n uh, random three problem? That's overall logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Keep coding and bye.